What's up, guys? It's Rye here, Bull City Speed, bringing you another episode of... Uh, what's in the box? This is the show where I bring you a new product that I think is awesome, and I tell you why I think you should have it. This week, we're going to talk about inspecting your junk, your holes, your orifices, anywhere the naked eye can't necessarily see, or maybe you need to enhance it. Enhance. Enhance. These tools can be used for a number of different reasons, and we'll talk about a few of those. So first thing we're gonna get into, I've talked about this thing before. This is called an otoscope. And you've probably seen this before if you've ever ventured into a doctor's office and you got all self-conscious when they shoved it in your ear and you started flashing back to all the times you forgot to stick a Q-tip in there. So once the doctor's done sticking this in your disgusting head, if you're like me, you thought about, man, that would be a handy piece of gear to have in my toolbox. So I looked them up, 17 bucks on Amazon. This is the Dr. Mom version. It's got the tip right there, magnification on the back, and when you click the bottom, it lights up. It'll light up the inside of all your dark holes like the 4th of July. Uh, what do I use it for? Plug reading. This is not a how to read plugs episode. There's a million different videos and articles out there on how to do that. <coughs> but if you are making a pass and then idling back up the road, turn road, texting your boys, sucking on a vape and telling them how awesome you are, and then you pull the plug out, look at it right on the top and go, I'm just gonna keep on sending it. You're doing it wrong, okay? You cannot get the full picture on what is going inside of your motor during the combustion process just by looking at the top of this thing, all right? You need to look at more than just the strap and the top of the porcelain. You need to be able to look all the way down here. So much so that a lot of guys actually cut the threads off so they can pull the porcelain completely out in order to see what's going on. Um, if you can't afford to be cutting up spark plugs after every run, then this is the next best thing. This will give you a general idea of what's going on. You can look down in there and really see what's going on, looking for discoloration, uh, specks of metal and stuff like that on your spark plugs. Or anything else you want to take a close look at. Uh, maybe your oil filter or something like that it has some metal in it. Fuel filters, got some craziness going on with it. Dr. Mom Autoscopes, got you covered. I don't know what the magnification power on this is, but they come in a variety of them. So check them out. Amazon.com, 17 bucks. Next, we're talking about what's in this box right here. And that is a boroscope. So you can go and spend three, $400 on the big time tool truck and buy the really badass one with a joystick and a, a, a screen that logs to an SD card. Or you can drop 30 bucks on Amazon and get one of these. It says endoscope, I typed in boroscope. This is a Wi-Fi enabled device, meaning it broadcasts its own Wi-Fi signal directly to your phone Android if you're broke, or Apple, uh, and then you turn on the, the settings, your Wi-Fi connect to the network, the instructions are right here on the back. So once you connected to the Wi-Fi network, you open the app up, and you are looking and seeing what this thing sees. It has a 10-foot waterproof lead, so you can use it to check your plumbing after you just got done bending a fresh biscuit, and the water starts pouring over the bowl all over the floor in your bathroom. Uh, and then you jam this down in there to find out that your kid flushed an action figure down the toilet. So yeah, you just turn it on, super simple. The lights come on right there. You connect to the device on your phone and it has lights on the end of it. And you can actually adjust the brightness of those lights. I will show you guys all of this in real time. All right guys, so here's how to use this thing and here's how simple this is. We're gonna turn it on, boom, oh, there we go, boom. You wait for the blue light to come on. While we're waiting for that, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our settings. This is my kid's iPad, so please don't judge. This is not mine, but I filmed this with my phone, so I need to be able to use another mobile device to set this all up and demonstrate for you guys. So blue, there we go. Jedian, that is the Wi-Fi that we're looking for. We're gonna wait for that to connect. Once that connects, we there we go. We go to the app, Wi-Fi View. And if my calculations are correct, you're looking at my face right now, but the audio is off due to like this inception level setup we have, like camera in a camera. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, so here you can see, uh, I don't know if it, yeah, there you go. See the brightness, I'm playing with the light right now. I'm gonna dim it down a little bit, put about halfway. And now I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna shove it inside of the cylinder on my Mustang. This piston's at top dead center, so we should see valve relief right off the bat. Let's turn the gain up, there it is. There we go, check that out. So that is looking at the face of the piston of my motor. You can see it's brand new, clean as a whistle. 
<clears throat> and that's it, man. Like, this thing is super awesome. 30 bucks. Get yourself one. Also comes with these other attachments. Unlike the big money ones, it doesn't have the ability to bend the camera on the end of it. It is flexible. It'll hold the position that you put it in. But if you need to look like 90 degrees at something inside of the hole you're shoving it into, this thing has a little periscope. That's a little mirror. It'll look 90 degrees. They just thread on the ends of them. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, you're working on a motor and you drop something. We all know that gut-wrenching feeling you get when you drop a small tool or a small part and you do not hear it hit the ground. It sucks. Oh. Hang on, little buddy! Gotcha! I think I gotcha! Well, maybe not! You're slipping! No! And then you can't see it because you just dropped it into the great black oblivion that is the underhood of your car. Uh, use the boroscope to jam this thing into areas sight unseen. Adventure where no man has ever gone before. Find that part and then stick this attachment on there. This is a little magnet on the end of it and it's actually relatively stout for its size. It works great at retrieving anything from the holes in which you do not want them to go. Um, unfortunately for some people, gerbils are not magnetic. I uh, will not retrieve those. <laughs> now that I've made this extremely awkward, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Boroscopes, endoscopes, autoscopes, scope out all these tools on amazon.com for less than 50 bucks. You can get both of these things. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to get back to work on this. And that's it. Y'all have a good weekend. I'm Rye with Bull City Speed. And I'm out. Peace.